In today's video, we're going to be using Autodesk Inventor to create ourselves a 3D dice. Okay, it's going to look a little bit like this. Let's go for a quick fly around. So it's pretty straightforward. It's what you'd expect from a dice. Six sides to the shape. We've just extruded a couple of little holes here for the numbers. All right, so pretty straightforward. To get started, I'm just going to go up to the File menu and select New. Okay, when the dialog box appears in your templates down the left side here, make sure you're in the metric folder and we choose a standard millimeter part. Okay, once you've selected that, just head down to create and you'll get your empty workspace. To begin our sketch today, we're just going to go up to the ribbon and select start new 2D sketch. You can see the work planes appear. It asks you which work plane you want to work on today. We're going to choose the YZ work plane, so this one here. Alrighty. Once you get this center point, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our rectangle to start our 2D sketch. Just grab the first one, the two-point rectangle. Click on that center point just once and start dragging out. And you can make the shape for your dice. Now the dimensions for the dice are quite small. It's 1.5 millimeters both sides. So 1.5 and 1.5. Remember to press tab to change between those two boxes. And you can type in 1.5 millimeters and press enter. As you can see, tiny little square. So you will need to zoom in if you want to have a good look at that. Okay, click the Finish Sketch button up the top, the green tick when you're all done. And again, you will need to zoom in. So just scroll on your mouse to zoom in. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this 3D now by extruding this shape. Okay, so back up in the ribbon at the top, just click the Extrude button. And you can see that it's already made it 3D, but we're going to change its distance. Instead of 10 mil, we're going to change it to 1.5 mil. And click OK. And there's our dice. Okay, it's already looking pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the numbers on each face of the dice. And we're going to start with the number 1, which is going to go on top. So let's start another 2D sketch. So click on the Start 2D Sketch button in your ribbon and choose which face you would like to draw on. As I just said, we're going to be starting on the top face today to do the number 1. Now hold down your mouse wheel and just move your mouse so you can position in the center of the page. And what we're going to do to find the center of this face is use some lines. Okay, so grab your line tool up the top. And instead of drawing lines straight onto our dice, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on construction lines. So this little red icon up here allows us to draw lines on our shape that won't actually appear in the final render of it. Okay, these are just more or less guides to help you out when you're drawing on this face. Okay, so make sure that little red button at the top, the construction button, is turned on. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to find the top section of this rectangle and hover around the center. You'll see there's a little yellow circle following your mouse cursor. Okay, when that turns green, you know you've got the center point, center point of that um, side of the shape. So click once and start dragging down. We want a perfectly straight line to connect to the bottom of that shape. Just look for the little green circle again, and you can see a construction line is drawn. You notice that it's dashed, which shows it's not an actual um, shape or not actual geometry that's going to appear in our final design. Okay, do the same for the other side. So on the left side of the shape, hover around that center point. When your little yellow circle goes green, click. Go to the other side, find that green circle, and click again. Okay, press Escape to get out of that line tool and go and turn your construction lines off. It's really important you turn construction lines off because the next shape we draw is not going to be a construction line. Okay, we want this next shape to appear in our dice. Okay, we are ready to draw our circle now. So go up the top to your ribbon and select the center point circle. Find the center point, okay, of your document there or of that face. You can see it go green under your mouse cursor when you're on the center. Just click once and start dragging out. Okay, and you can get the circle that you need uh, to do the number one. We want this circle to be 0 0.4 millimeters in diameter, so type that in and press enter. And you've got the circle for the number one. When you finish the sketch now by pressing the green tick at the top, notice that these construction lines will still be there. Okay, but they will disappear a bit later on once we color it all in and finish it off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to extrude this circle. Okay, we're just going to cut away a little bit of it and make it look a bit nicer than what it is now. So let's click the Extrude button up the top in our ribbon. And we're going to change its distance here to 0.05 millimeters. And instead of raising it up, 
we're going to change the direction to direction 2, which swings it the other way, and it starts cutting into the shape. Once you've got that, click on OK. And if you swing your dice around by holding Shift and holding in the wheel on your mouse, you can actually move this dice around. Or you can use your little cube over here in the top corner. OK. And that's our first little number. So that's pretty easy. Next number we want to do is the number 2, which is going to go on this front face of the dice. So let's start another 2D sketch and click on this front face. Okay, again, hold down the wheel of your mouse and just move the square back into the center of the page. Now this time we've got two circles that need to appear on our uh, face here. So grab your circle tool from up in the ribbon and draw for me two 0.4 millimeter in diameter circles. Doesn't matter where they go just yet. Okay, so something like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get them a certain distance from each side of the dice. Okay, and the way we do that is we use this dimension tool. So click on this dimension tool to turn it on, and we'll dim dimension these circles. Let's start with the left side of the shape. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this left side, and then click on the center point of the circle up in the top left. Drag up. When you see these numbers, just click once. It says, how far do you want your circle to be from the left side of the shape? We want to write in 0.25 millimeters and press enter. We're going to do the same again with the top. So we're going to click on the top side of the shape, click on the center point of that circle, and we're going to move to the left this time. And once you've got those black numbers and black arrows, click once and write in 0.25 millimeters again. Now the center point of that circle is 0.25 mil on the left side and the top, and that's the position we want that circle to be in. Now we need to do the same in the bottom right corner with this other circle. So with the dimension tool still on, select the right side of your shape, come across and select the center of your circle, and drag down. Okay, click once and write in 0.25. Press enter. Let's select the bottom of the R square now. Come to the center point of that green circle. Click on it. Just move out to the side. Click again and write 0.25 mils. And you've now got your two circles dimensioned nicely. And that looks pretty good to me. So let's press the green tick at the top. And let's extrude those two circles. Okay, so hit the extrude button at the top here. You'll actually have to click on each of the circles now so that they both extrude. And remember, it needs to be 0.05 mils, and we need to go in direction 2, so it cuts away into the dice. Press OK when you're done, and you can see we've got our next two circles in. Looking good. We've just got one more face to do um, in this video, and then I'll stop it and come back in the next video to do the rest of the numbers. But what we're going to do is the number 3 on this face over here. Okay, we're going to start down in this bottom left corner and work diagonally up to the top right corner. So let's make another 2D sketch and click on this other empty face. Holding down the wheel of the mouse, just move it back into the center of the page. And you can see a save reminder coming up there. If you want, you can save it. I probably would if I was you. Um, let's do the number three now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our line tool again and turn our construction lines back on. Okay, we're going to find the center point of our dice again. So find the center point, click once. When you get that little green circle, click twice. Let's do the same on the left side, find that little green circle. When it appears again, click. Okay, press escape to get out of those lines. Remember, turn construction lines off. Okay, press that red button again to turn him off. Let's start by drawing a circle right in the center. So go up the top to your ribbon and grab your circle tool again. Click on the center. You can see it goes green, your mouse cursor, when you're on the center. And make a 0.4 mil circle. And then do two more of those 0.4 mil circles. Somewhere up near the top corners. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way here. That should be over this side. And then I should have another one down here. So... 0.4 mils. All right, looks a bit ugly at the moment, but we'll use this dimension tool again like we just did in the last um, side of the dice and get these circles looking better. So with the dimension tool turned on, we click on this top part of the, of the square and then click on the center point of the circle. 
come out to the side here and remember 0 0.25 mils is where we want it at okay we're going to click on this right side of the square click on the center point of this top circle and drag up okay this one needs to be 0 0.25 as well press enter that's starting to look a bit better just to mention this last circle now so click on the bottom side of the uh, square click on the center point of that circle drag out to the left and stick in 0 0.25 and you probably worked it out by now click on the left side of the square click on the center point of the circle drag down and finally 0 0.25 and you've now got the number three all done so finish your sketch up the top and extrude those three circles for me so at the top in your ribbon click extrude select the three circles just by clicking on them once each and remember 0.05 mil for the distance and it needs to be distance too so it cuts away into the dice click OK when you're done alrighty that's looking pretty good now what I'm going to do is stop the video here give you a quick break and I'll come back in the second video and finish off the bigger numbers for the dice